I'm Mari Silby with Light Reading, and I'm here with Dave Smargan from AirSys. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for asking me. Um, so let's start by talking about what you see as some of the biggest challenges that the industry faces in terms of energy management issues. Yeah, energy management, a great subject. That's why we're all here. Um, I, I always go back to the pyramid that I saw when I came to my first SCTE meeting about a year and a half ago where about 80% uh, of the energy consumption takes place in the edge or hub. There's a lot of conversation about data center and data center cooling, but really the bulk of the work has got to be done on those much smaller facilities that there are many, many more of them, and they tend to be placed somewhat chaotically over the years. <laughs> and so energy efficiency is kind of a, a big deal, in particular, uh, I think, air conditioning energy, which is... Right my area of expertise is right. a big opportunity to save money on those sites. And uh, what role do you see the SCTE, ISBE, or the Energy 2020 team taking uh, in terms of addressing some of these issues? Well, they're, they're approaching it from a bunch of different directions. It's really, it's really neat to see this kind of collaborative industry body where they're not really competitors, they're um, you know, very collaborative. It's, it's kind of neat. Yeah, it's cable. <laughs> it's different. It's different than the other industries I work in or work with, rather. Um, but the setting of standards, trying to define metrics, trying to figure out where are we at, where are we going, those things are all very, very important. And once you establish that, then it's mobilizing the troops and the whole population, not just the people that show up here, but the people that don't show up here that right. have to execute every day to try and figure out what it takes to achieve those goals and, and us providing guidance along the way. I think it's a really neat, neat opportunity, a great initiative, yeah. just a great initiative. And you mentioned um, you mentioned data centers a moment ago, mm -hmm. and you know that's that's not the edge. But what are some of the efforts going in there, um, since that is your expertise in terms mm -hmm. of bringing down some of the cooling and how that affects budgets? Yeah, so we're we're looking at a macro and 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 micro is there there are lots of different things you can do and it's so dependent on where you're at are you building a brand new data center well then then you have the world of <laughs> efficiency field. available to you but often you don't you don't get that opportunity you're taking an existing facility and you got to retrofit and there are complexities associated with doing that so it's almost a site by site basis i think there are a handful of really really good techniques mm -hmm. that allow you to get uh huge efficiency gains from electricity. But a lot of them are going to be constrained by the particular facility you're in. I mean, do you have water available? Can you put stuff on the roof? Can you hang right. stuff outside? Can you? So on a case-by-case -case basis, but of course, air conditioning being a huge element. I mean, typically, away from the primary equipment you're trying to preserve and maintain, air conditioning is the second highest consumer of electricity in all those sites. So when you can do smart things with air handling and air conditioning, mm -hmm. you, can, you can take big steps in the right direction with respect to efficiency gains. Right. Hence so. the reason you're a good partner for the Energy I'm 2020. I'm a great team. partner. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hence, no, hence why this is, uh, I think, valuable for me to participate and try and understand what, what some of the uh, issues are and how we can help, how right. we can help get there. Yeah, should be a good, great plenary session. Yeah, I hope so. I'll let you know afterwards. Okay, thank you. <laughs>